How would you describe the journey from your very first spring training with the Yankees in 2017 to your debut in Houston a few months later and where you're at right now and all the ups and downs that have come with that? I think it would take a while for me to describe it, to be honest, you know, uh, because it's had a lot of different kind of moments. You know, I've had a lot of really good moments. I've had moments that, you know, weren't the best. I've had I've had an assortment of emotions, you know, that have came with being here, but that's, you know, part of the game. And, and ultimately, I really feel like I'm in a good spot right now going into opening day, going to get my first chance to, you know, show myself and show other people what I've wanted to do the last, you know, four or so years. So it feels it feels really good going into tomorrow, knowing that, you know, there's a good chance I'm going to be in that lineup and and hopefully, you know, have a good game and hopefully we go out there and win. Meredith Morakovic, you have the next question. Go ahead. Hey, Clint, after some of the things you discussed over the past few years, the ups and downs, is it validating to know that, that you're on, not only on the roster, but you're going to be starting for the Yankees? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, something that, you know, went with all the ups and downs was I had a lot of bitterness at times, you know, and I wanted to, at times, I was like, am I going to play here? Am I going to play somewhere else? But in my heart and in my head, I wanted to, I wanted it to be here because I wanted to beat all the odds, you know, not that I'm saying I had a lot of odds against me, but I wanted to overcome this. I didn't want to be somewhere else and not be able to say like, hey, like I, I, I came through, I finally got what I wanted to get. And it, it feels really good knowing that right now I have finally, you know, put myself in a position to where I don't have to look over my shoulder every second, wondering if I'm going to play tomorrow or the next day. And, and you know, hopefully I, I take it in stride. Do you think they'll be nervous tomorrow? I mean, probably, but, you know, overall, like, I wouldn't say a ton. I think it's just going to be a lot of excitement. So, yeah, good nerves, good nerves. Tom Merriam, please unmute. Thanks, Mike. That's a lot. Mike, can you talk about the potential of this lineup? Uh, it's certainly one of the most powerful in the American League. Yeah, uh, you know, I would say that not too many other teams I'd be thrilled to possibly hit ninth on. Uh, you know, it's 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 a lineup that's so deep that I am completely fine hitting wherever I am in that lineup because of the guys and, and what they've done, you know, in years past to be in this lineup. And it's 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 a lot of firepower. And, and like I said to someone the other day, I don't know how we acquired every player that hits the ball 500 feet. So it's going to be a lot of fun to, to watch. <laughs> Uh, Marley Rivera, please unmute. Um, hi, Clint. You've been very open about your relationship with the fans. Um, what is that going to be like tomorrow with uh, about 10,000 fans here at the stadium? I think it's going to be exciting, you know, because I've never had, like, I've never had the opportunity to, to go out there on opening day and experience the that feeling so whenever you factor in more fans than or I guess we didn't have any fans last year but whenever you factor in the fans it's going to be two special feelings because I have felt a lot of support along the way and it's 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 a lot of fun whenever the uh the interactions go in a positive way with those guys out there are you a little concerned about the nerves or energy especially you know like you just said it is your first opening day at Yankee Stadium playing left field and it's not Brett Gardner it's Clint Frazier uh, I mean, I, I've thought about it, you know, but I think the biggest thing that helped me was, you know, I did start in the playoffs and that was a, a different overall kind of feeling too. Obviously it was only, I think it was one, two games, one game, however many, you know, but I experienced the, the nerves and that atmosphere, obviously, you know, no fans there, but still overall the intensity in the, in the moment was, was a big moment. And I expect tomorrow to feel the same way and, and, I feel prepared along with, you know, the rest of the guys that are going to trot out there with me.